Until recently, spotted rays in all oceans were thought to be the same species, but it is now known that they actually make up three different species. This one here is known as the Pacific Spotted Eagle Ray. In 2014, after some morphological identification and genetic testing, these rays were found to be an endemic species, meaning that they're only found in one area of the world. This can pose some challenges when it comes to conservation efforts. The Pacific Spotted Eagle Ray is endemic to an area in the Pacific Ocean, and it only ranges from the Gulf of California to Ecuador, including the Galapagos Islands. Pacific Spotted Eagle Rays can grow to a size of approximately 1 to 2.3 meters wide, but they're usually on the smaller side, with their length being less than their width. They use oscillatory movements of their modified pectoral fins that look like wings to propel themselves through the water. They are mostly found as solitary individuals in coastal bays, coral reefs, and estuaries, but they can also be seen swimming in groups farther from the coast. They are found swimming not only at the surface, but also in midwater up to depths of approximately 60 meters. These rays like to eat small fish and forage for invertebrates like clams, oysters, and sea urchins using special organs in their snout, known as ampullae of Lorenzini, to detect the electrical impulses of their prey. They can even dig holes in the sandy ocean floor with their beak-like snout to look for food, which is unique to only a small number of ray species. This way of feeding also helps to churn up nutrients caught in the sand. They have a generational length of about 14 and a half years, and they bear live young with one to four offspring per litter. They have a dark gray, almost black, dorsal side, or top side, with lots of white spots or rings, which makes them easily recognizable. What's cool about these rays is that the patterns on their dorsal side that are made up of the white spots and rings can actually help to identify what species of spotted ray they are, as well as the individual animal, kind of like a fingerprint. These rays are prey to sharks and in some parts of the world to humans as commercial catch and recreational catch. They are also important to small-scale subsistence fishermen who catch these rays to feed themselves and their families for food security and to sell for income. The Pacific Spotted Eagle Ray was assessed in 2019 and categorized as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List as it is thought to have had a population decrease of 30 to 49 percent over the past 43 years, with numbers still declining. 1 to 10 percent of the population is protected by MPAs. MPAs are marine protected areas with varying degrees of protection from commercial and subsistence fishing and recreational human activity. Some MPAs have been shown to be very beneficial at increasing the population sizes of the Pacific Spotted Eagle Ray. Fishing is a large threat to these animals because of targeted fishing for meat and accidental bycatch. Regulating the fishing of spotted eagle rays would be challenging, but could help to increase the population numbers. Pacific spotted eagle rays are an important part of specific marine environments because of their endemic nature, their ability to cycle nutrients, and their role in the ecosystem food web. Conservation efforts will continue to strive to protect existing populations of these unique rays. For more videos on marine species, subscribe to our Sea Discovery channel. Thanks for watching.